surveys nowhere to go and back in the end zone touchdown what a throw and catch to kick off week five of the 2019 nfl season russell wilson to tyler lockett gather around your smartphones and your laptops as you tune into a new episode of time to football. I'm your wonderful host, Hassan Khan, and we go from one MVP candidate to Russell Wilson to another in Kirk Cousins. Yeah, MVP, most valuable personality. You know when someone is dating another person and you ask them, is that person good looking? And they say to you, well, they have a good personality. I feel like that's the case with a lot of NFL fans. You ask them, is Kirk Cousins a good quarterback? And they say, he has a good personality, which he does. And I'm on record personally of saying that I think he's a very good quarterback. I think he should be a starting quarterback in the NFL. But what we're gonna talk about in this episode is whether or not Kirk Cousins is gonna be staying with the Minnesota Vikings for much longer. But before we get into all that, we have to recap last week with giving you the most prestigious award on this show, the hungriest player of the week. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Buccaneers defensive tackle Ndamukong Su didn't have the best day for the majority of the game against the Rams, but it only took 10 seconds in the final two minutes to be the hungriest player of the week. As the Rams were marching down the field to try to tie the game to go into overtime, it took one play by Shaq Barrett to cause a fumble on Jared Goff, and Ndamukong Su was there to scoop it up and stomp his way all the way to the end zone. See what I did there? Securing a 55 to 40 Buccaneers victory. But what makes him the hungriest player of the week and wanted it the most is that it was against his former team. We always love revenge games here on Time to Football. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Now for the main topic of the video, Kirk Cousins is gonna be a starting quarterback in Minnesota for much longer. So Captain Kirk, who looks a lot like my buddy TJ if you see this photo right here. I'm serious, the resemblance is crazy. Anyways, Kirk Cousins is under a lot of pressure this season, a lot more pressure than Takashi 6 9 in front of a federal judge. But those expectations that Kirk Cousins had when he signed a big contract in the 2018 offseason have not been met. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats so far through four games of the 2019 NFL season. Three touchdowns, two interceptions, a quarterback rating of 88. These numbers are very, very mediocre. So it's understandable why the Vikings offense is upset with Kirk Cousins. But we compare those numbers to his first four games of the 2018 NFL season when he first signed with the Minnesota Vikings. And here are those stats. A big difference, a sexy 69% completion percentage, 10 touchdowns to only two interceptions, he led the league at one point in passing yards last year with 1,300 and a quarterback rating of over 100. So it's understandable why the Vikings fans are upset with Kirk Cousins for not producing this season. But even last season, people still crapped on him. Even though he was producing, I thought the criticism was a little bit unfair. But this season, I hate to say it, but as of right now, it's a little justified. For those that haven't watched too many interviews with Kirk Cousins, he's a very genuine guy. Like, he could win a Walter Payton Man of the Year award some year. But as we all know, nice guys finish last. In most cases, most guys finish first. Anyways, Cousins and his lackluster play has made Adam Thielen upset, calling him out after the game against Chicago. Stephon Diggs has even voiced his frustration, saying that he's not getting enough targets, that his role in this offense is not that significant, and he wants to be traded somewhere else. Because of all this drama this week against the Giants, you're gonna see a shift in the offense because the Vikings want to make everyone happy. Stephon Diggs is gonna get a lot more targets. Adam Thielen, your number one guy, is gonna get featured more. Kirk Cousins is gonna throw a minimum of 30 pass attempts. Don't be surprised if this Sunday, Kirk Cousins throws at least two or three touchdowns, maybe 300 yards, because they're gonna to try to make everyone happy and feature Kirk Cousins more. If there's any week to do all that, it is this week, week five, 
against the New York Giants because that secondary is the best secondary that you can play with to improve your passing game. And then weeks five through nine, I'm gonna go ahead and read off the schedule because this is where it's gonna get interesting. Week five, the Giants, six, Philly, then you got Detroit, Washington, Kansas City. All of these secondaries are average to below average. The passing game for the Vikings could improve heavily. I mention all this because for the next few weeks, Kirk Cousins could do a complete 180. The passing game could improve, but then after this bye week, you're facing teams like Dallas, Green Bay, Chicago, teams that have some pretty solid defenses, and it matters because this is gonna be towards the end of the season and you're fighting for a playoff spot. If you don't make the playoffs again, what happens to Kirk Cousins in Minnesota? Like I said at the beginning of the show, I think Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, but he just may not be the right fit for the Vikings. I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you believe that after this season, Minnesota will move on from Kirk Cousins. Leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts. But that's all we have for this episode of Time to Football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and like we mentioned before, leave a comment down below and talk to us about Kirk Cousins. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a weekly show every single week. Also hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at Time to Football. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and enjoy week five.